morning or oh, it's around about lunchtime. Um, I'm out in the house garden today. Um, today is the day for planting sweet corn. It's been um, left out to harden off and um, I've got an exciting mulch to try. So I uh, need to crack on. corn plants are now quite big they're um yeah they're all getting quite big now I've got biggest miss helping me today and I'll flip you around and show you where we're going to plant them so we've eaten loads of the radishes uh, roasted radishes aren't actually too bad who knew these are our sweet corn seedlings these are the ones that we've grown from seed and they are going here. So I'm going to get on with putting them where I want them to. Oh, sorry. Oh, look, here's the rest of them. Ooh. They're quite big now, aren't they? <laughs> right, I'm going to get on with uh, placing them where I want them to go. Yeah, all the sweet corn are placed. We're just going to dig them in and then I'll show you the mulch that we're going to use. Try something different. <laughs> The sweet corn is all planted. We've got it in a relative block, uh, which is three by four. And they're about 30 centimeters or so apart, a little bit closer in places, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, and now we're gonna give them a really, really good soak and mm. then we're going to mulch them. Right, so we're going to soak away so that we're not mulching dry soil. That's hard. Yeah, so we don't want to mulch dryness in, we want to mulch in the wet. Um, so, Big Mix is going to do that. Voila! <laughs> What's he doing? Trying to make it come out faster. <laughs> Didn't want to do that, obviously. <laughs> She's going to do that and then I'm going to have my lunch and I'm going to come back and mulch afterwards. So you might have guessed from the title of the video that we are mulching with sheep's wool. So our local um, animal sanctuary has had all of their rescue sheep sheared, shorn. I'm not sure <laughs> what the right tense is. They've, they've had all of their coats removed so that they're nice and cool in the summer. And um, they had a great big pile of it. So I went and picked up four great big bags full and I'm planning on using them on the sweet corn beds. So I've got one bag at home and this is what it looks like. It's just literally it was taken off the sheep yesterday. It's a bit dirty and it smells like sheep smell but I'm um, gonna get it around the uh, get it around the sweet corn once Big Miss is finished with the top dressing. And then yeah, hopefully we'll have some nicely tucked in sweet corn seeds and butternut squash seedlings. And yeah, hopefully it will seal in the moisture that we've put down and um, help them to grow better because they'll have more water in the soil. Right, so got all the wool 
Yeah. Some of it's a little bit <laughs> smelly. Yeah. But we are putting it on. What did you say it was like? Insulator. It's like insulation, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like putting a scarf or a jumper around the sweet corn. So we'll give it a really good covering. <laughs> Uh. <coughs> so I think you can get wool mats for this purpose, but this is just raw pelts, Every day. It's just the fur, and um, is it fur? No, it's wool. What am I talking about? Yeah, it's just the wool, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we've got enough in this bag to just cover the whole lot. Do you think it's going to spread? You can see that. Oh, well, that's what sheep do. <laughs> yeah, torn themselves. <laughs> so hopefully we should have just about enough in this bag to cover these. And then, um, yeah, should do. Because that was completely full. We've used basically none of that and it's done all of that. Yeah. We're going to have enough. Well, we've got more down the allotment if we need more than that. So we've tried to leave the slab uncovered, haven't we? And we've covered everything in, in what Biggest Miss thinks looks like a cloud. It does. It does. A dirty cloud. A dirty cloud. <laughs> the fog's come down and settled, has it? Yep. <laughs> At least it should keep the weeds away in this bit. Oh, and there's a gap right at the back that you could put it in. No, 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 right at the back over there. In between there. Yeah. There we go. Done. Done. Should we water it down? Okay, so hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to water over the top of the, uh, of the wool just to see what happens more than anything. Maybe Does it go down. flat, do you think? Weigh it down. It Weighs it down a little bit. Down. Yeah. Good. I suppose it'll create like a mat then. Because it's nice and wet. Um, yeah. But it will keep the moisture in, won't it? It should keep the moisture in. It's like a sponge. So this is it all finished. Sweet corn bed. We've got the butternut squashes as well, and I've sort of I've planted them on the wonk, so hopefully they'll go that way <laughs> over all of this. Kai, you can smell the sheep. This yep. is going to do fabulously well. Oh, excited! So that is the sweet corn at the house planted. We're going to plant the ones down at the allotment in it pretty much exactly the same way. Um, they're going to go in the big raised bed at the front and then they're going to be mulched with my newly acquired wool. So uh, have any of you used wool as a mulch or wool mats? Um, let me know in the comments how yours turned, turned out and I, um, I'll keep you updated with the progress on mine. Okay. yeah exciting something new to try right i hope you're all having a good time if you like the video give it a thumbs up and um subscribe to the channel to see more and i'll i'll see you later bye